The social game we live in is based on possession And if you think you own a body, then you're playing But if you think you own anything, you must be mad And if you think that you're owned, well, you're raving So come on now, my friends, let us knee and pray Let us stick all our hands tight together For I wanna tell you about your God Who brings you your life's possessions And disaster Now if he was inconceivable Then how can he exist When that word has the same meaning as the word nothing And he who thinks he knows what the word nothing means Has only his own excuse For an answer And if he's conceivable He must be just like us For he must have a conceivable being And if he's got being He must have life And if he's living He must also be dying But he was the classroom I'd ever found the teachers and the little children And he was all the mud that covered them He was the sky, the school, and the whole damn mountain But it makes me sick to have to sing you all this Well, I know that when you were born you had it But society might buy its gods and power But in its present state, uh, it's never gonna buy anything honest. Me and my friends tell you what we're gonna do. Really no secret now that we are telling you. Fighting for the very same breath For very, very different reason Well, the sky is blue and the day is long And you ask me what is left to believe in Well, I say just hold what you feel in all your eyes And give a big broad smile The world you're passing And if you think you're a pop star You can come and laugh at me And you can call me all shades of half-wit skeptic But if you're no nearer now to just being you Then both of us might just as well forget it In the song I've said I about Ten times On the record you could count many others But I don't need wealth And I don't want fame And I never need to count All my brothers And if you still think that either of us is right or wrong Then there's only one thing we do have in common 
while we both happen to be fighting for the very same breath. <laughs> What did you say? Were your reasons? So me and my friends tell you what we got hard to do. Really no secret now that we are telling you. Alice coming back to life yesterday, and she's gonna ask me what the hell it is I'm singing. Well, I tell you, it's an unimpressive song, really, but <laughs> it's 51 ages long. But you know, well, you know, Jack. I guess I'm not the only one who's singing. <laughs> I'm sorry I've not written before now, Jack. You know, but that's it, man. There's something here anyway that I, th I think you'll you'll like. Dig this lot. Genghis Smith was a silly old fool, and a silly old fool was he. He mauled for his dough, and he bawled for his god, and he called for his little cup of tea. Ooh, mummy said, does God go to bed, or is he a rich man too? She said, "In a minute, my son, I'll box your bloody ears for you." What do you mean? I'm a terrible queen. I'll have you know, your dad, if he hadn't have died of athlete's brain, would have driven you twice as mad. Old Genghis Smith was not deterred. He bought himself a gun. I got one eye on God," he said. "But that ain't nothing, man. It's the other mother that's focused on some good, clean gun fun." The gun fun escalated, and the game just wasn't fun. As mother wept onto assorted pieces of her son. But never mind. He left his child. We'll bring him up the same, and he can die too. Then, like a man, yes, in the very next blood game. And so the game is played out on the sinking Wigan pier, with brass bands round the gravestones, so that no one can quite hear the prophets and the gentle people's feelings that are lost inside the ringing cauldron of the crashing Holocaust. Farewell, <laughs> you dear Genghis Smith. I'd help you if I could, but there's nothing I could have told you that uh, that, that you'd have understood. And there's nothing I could have told you that would have done you any good. And hey, there's much more room down there. All can see is mud. <laughs>